Welcome to another video by DJS PRC. What we have today in front of us is one or two chargers. We have the S1100, we have the S2100, and the S1200, plus the S150, and the X, XBC100 here. If you look at the title, uh, you, might, you know why. It's time to update these guys here. And you will need the Spectrum Smart USB cable adapter. And this part number for this guy is SPMX CA100. Now, what I've been reading and seeing online right now, uh, there's a lot of people having issues uh, basically updating their uh, USB not the USB, they're chargers, especially the, the older ones like the 1200 and the 2100. The S1100 and the XBC, uh, you physically don't need this dongle to update these, char uh, this, these chargers and uh, checkers. Uh, just basically a straight micro USB will work with them. But for today is, is we want to install the physical new menu. Let me try to go back here. And the new menu, I'm not sure if you can really see it because of the, the, the backlight here. I can't bring it lower. It's a little bit harder for you guys to see. I'm not even sure if you'll see it correctly on the camera here. Uh, it's to get the physical new menu and new options that are uh, offering. On the newer chargers, basically when you plug in your battery, it starts charging by itself. You don't need to press start. You don't need to say, okay, this is a two cell or something like that. Uh, they put the feature a little bit more in the smart stage, I would say. Uh, now there is an update for the S1100 that I'm not gonna do today. The one we're going to do is the S2100. Basically, what you'll need to do is take your USB smart plug on the side here. There is like a 3.5 uh, headphone jack on the side. You grab and plug it into your computer. Now, I do have it running to my computer behind me. What we're going to do is we're going to switch around and I'm gonna go interaction with my screen and I'll show you the step-by-steps, uh, basically how to start the process. And I will put the links on the two items on my screen to be able to do this. Where I downloaded physically the uh, drivers and the GUI they're using, Smart Updater, uh, but one of the things I had to do, looking around, I had to download this one right here, the S21, S2100 V1.0.1.10 firmware updater. Like I said, I'll put that link in the, in the description below. I had to physically turn around and install the drivers. This guy right here, uh, SC Link curve driver something like that <laughs> uh, once I installed this driver it detected automatically uh, the GUI to be able to let me install the physical firmwares on the other guys because he didn't want to see my 1200 it did not want to see uh, my 2100 it saw the rest of the guys but not this one now I have downloaded these uh, patches here and drivers or updaters if you want to say now I, I'll go to the latest here S2100 double click double click on this one too even if they offer drivers here it's just the net framework drivers it's not gonna let you if you have that issue like I said go back here click on this link it'll bring you to this one here to download install the drivers from this guy here right here, and you'll see it, your system will see it. Now I'll go back to the 2100. Now the SCU application here, where you're gonna start that, and it's gonna give you this right here. 
Now, if we look at the device SC1010 app version, connected right here, and we are trying to update the 2100. And we want to put the V1.1.0.3 uh, fix bugs and uh, the count up clock changing, uh, non-smart lipos, holding the middle button while charging, uh, menu becomes back button, support the smart NIMH battery delta V range from 24 millivolt to 28 millivolt. And basically shows you the discharging by description bar, removes the history charger screen, gives you a little bit of a change that the new system is giving you. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna press update. Now it's erasing the application, rebooting and writing the application. Uh, roughly takes uh, roughly about, I would say, I think around 20 seconds. It's not, uh, well, maybe, a little, maybe a little bit longer than that, uh, but it's not something that takes forever to do. We're already at 47%. And the charger itself right now uh, basically gives you the, the bars. It's almost done. 100% update successful. Now the charger will reboot. And here we go, we have our screen. Now, I know it's a little bit harder on this one's a little bit darker the screen, but they're pretty much identical now. In the past, you have physically had two screens different here to be able to flip. Now the charge icons are on top of here. Basically, when you do switch, switch is here, switch is there. And when you do plug in your battery, I would plug it to the correct place with hope a lot. Did I plug it incorrectly again? I'm having issues today. Now, basically, you leave it alone and the charger will start itself, no problem. Um, yeah, now, just make sure when you do, again, if we go back to the computer screen here, I'm just gonna move this guy out of the way. Don't forget to download the S2100 V1.0.0.10 firmware updater, you double click, it'll give you two, there's 1.18, uh, I don't think it really matters, I did this one here, then I did drivers, then I did install drivers, uh, then it said install, I did install, then it said to me successfully install, and I could see the, the physical charger. That's one of the fix I found. Maybe Spectrum in your future, they'll do an update for the physical uh, charger itself uh, to prevent this. But for the moment, that is the fix. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. Don't forget, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thank you for watching.